Although the massive price hikes and rampant shortages for graphics cards have been stealing the headlines lately, you might have noticed that hard drives and SSDs are getting more expensive and harder to find as well. And unlike graphics cards, these aren't luxury items. I mean, you need them to operate your computer. So what the heck's going on? It turns out that the main reason is separate from the worldwide chip shortage. It's actually due to a new cryptocurrency called Chia. Not to be confused with those grassy pets that you can sit on your desk. I always wanted one of those. But hold on a second. Why would you need more storage for crypto? Isn't that mostly based around graphics cards or ASICs? So here's the thing. Many well-known cryptocurrencies are mined with what's called a proof of work scheme, where you get rewarded with crypto for working on a problem. That is using some of your processor resources to crunch numbers, basically. Chia, by contrast, is built on proof of space. Instead of getting coins for showing you dedicated processor time, you get Chia by allocating storage space on your machine exclusively for storing the cryptographic numbers used by its blockchain. Here's how it works. First, the Chia client will create large groups of cryptographic hashes on your drive called plots. This is a time consuming process that benefits from having an SSD rather than a mechanical hard drive since plotting is so write intensive. A good NVMe SSD can create a 100 gigabyte plot, the recommended size, in as little as six or so hours. But a hard drive spinning around might only be able to do one a day or one every several days if you've got it connected to a bare bones system like a Raspberry Pi. After a plot is completed, it's stored somewhere on your system long term, typically on a hard drive, making a smaller NVMe SSD and one or more multi terabyte hard drives a popular setup for Chia farming, which is the term the Chia community uses in place of mining. The way you get paid is that the Chia network scans the computer's link to it for a plot that matches a certain hash. And if that plot is one of yours, then congratulations, you're paid out some Chia as a reward. Though right now with the size of the Chia net space surging, it's become less and less likely for home farmers to win Chia. However, with Chia pools rolling out in the very near future, they might even be live by the time you watch this, a user with 10 or 20 terabytes of space might be able to bring in a decent amount of money. Though of course it would be divided among other pool members. But if you do want to take the plunge and start farming Chia, what do you need besides lots of storage? Well, if you're plotting yourself, a baseline rule is at least one CPU thread, preferably two, and four gigs of memory per plot you're creating at once. So a popular configuration is 32 gigs of RAM and at least a six core 12 thread CPU. Combine that with storage costs and serious Chia farming can be an expensive proposition. But it is possible to buy plots that have already been created from third parties and just download them instead. In which case, you can forego having all those threads and RAM and you really only need just a ton of hard drive space. How about the environmental impact? Even though Chia was conceived as a greener alternative to traditional crypto mining, as storage devices use less energy than GPUs, it's already come under fire for putting additional strain on storage supply chains. Not to mention that Chia plotting can destroy consumer grade SSDs fairly quickly. It's recommended to instead use a high endurance or even enterprise SSD to avoid this. But regardless, proof of space cryptos will still cause people to buy SSDs more frequently, at least in the short term. Hmm, maybe it's time to look into finally coughing up that 10 bucks a month Google wants for cloud storage. Ch-ch-ch-chia-ching. Big thanks to Brilliant for sponsoring this video. Brilliant is a website and an app that makes learning accessible and fun. It uses active learning with problem solving and interactive visual concepts. There's no grades, there's no long lectures or strict time limits. Brilliant offers over 60 courses on everything from astronomy to programming with Python. And one of the courses that we suggest is the cryptocurrency course, of course. Learn the history of how we went from traditional currencies to crypto and how cryptocurrencies are created in the first place. Using Brilliant, you can master subjects instead of just memorizing the answers. So why wait? Join the community of 8 million learners and educators today. The first 200 people who head to brilliant.org slash techwiki will get 20% off an annual premium subscription. So thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, hit like, hit subscribe, and be sure to hit us up in the comments section with your suggestions for videos that we should cover in the future.